Hi, Austin. Thank you for the message via Construction Scrum. I appreciate the content, and I agree with all the principles of lean construction and Scrum. One question. I am in the opposite end of the market. That pretty much every guest of the show, strictly residential renovations, with a large project being 200 grand. So while I firmly believe that the principles apply to me, I'm having a hard time visualizing how to apply them. I know the short answer is to start and improve from there, but maybe in the meantime, we could get a show by Felipe and Jason about how they would set up the following company to run with lean and scrum principles, and is tact appropriate. General Contractor Remodeling Company, In-House Plumbing, Heating Crews, 3, In-House Carpentry Crews, 6 to 7 two-man crews, In-House Department, 2 Kitchen and Bath Designers, 1 Assistant, Respected General Contractor with 28 years of business, but struggles with good outcomes, Quality is high, but cycle times are large, Customer Experience is okay, Project Types, Anything Under the Sun that has anything to do with the home, Again, really appreciate the content. Well Austin, you're in luck because Jason and I love to answer questions. And I do have a recommendation. A lot of the things that we talk about on the show are people's experiences from years of experimentation. Now, you can absolutely learn from the greats and take a course. I learned about TACT at Berkeley at the P2SL laboratory many years ago, and I didn't apply it. I didn't learn enough in that course and at that time when it struck me to start applying it. Later, I traveled to Germany with Jason Schroeder and Spencer Easton, and we studied under Janusz Deluy and Marco Binginger. And having been much better at Scrum, I was able to take tact and start applying it on every project, no matter the size, whether people wanted it or not. It changed even how I applied my pull planning and what I was doing with Last Planner System production controls, and how it was facilitating, it changed everything. But the main thing that was driving for me was Scrum. And I had many conversations with Janos, and I would joke with him. I said, we got to come up with another name for Scrum Master Intact. Is it the train conductor or the train engineer? Which one is the Scrum Master? I still need to finish that conversation with Janos. But I appreciate the comment, Austin. And I'm going to give you a recommendation to get started. And I know you want to, to go deeper and start running, but before you run, you've got to use some of the basics. So here's a video to help you get started. Here is a video for getting started exactly where you are. From here, you will be able to better pick up Scrum, Last Planner, and Tact. There you go. So people, I say it all the time, Austin is proof. If you have a question or a comment, there's so many ways to get a hold of me. Through ConstructionScrum.com, the book website, through the EBFC show, which also includes voicemail messaging, direct messages on social media, or even email. Austin, I hope this helps you get started. Keep in touch. And the next time I see Jason, I'll let him know that we need to do another show. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to tap that subscribe button to never miss content like this for design and construction professionals. Thank you for watching.